This will be an interesting episode. Do you know why? We are going to speak with an agility instructor who will give us some tips on how to train a dog, some characteristics of this dog, and also the cost of each dog breed. I'm Victoria Okosu. Welcome to this episode of Market Space, brought to you by Rugged Root Production. Let's go and speak with this instructor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How is the business? Oh, we thank God. We are pushing, at least moving gradually. What are the characteristics of this dog? Yeah, this is a Lassa capsule. They do have um, different colors. We have some uh, white and ash, white and black, and uh, some can be this cream white and brown, and some. But they are mostly palo dogs. Yes. So people take them as pets. So they can't bring this kind of dogs outside. No, uh, outside like how? Take them out. Yeah, you can actually take them out because um, all dogs need to be socialized. Mostly about all dogs. If you socialize a dog, you will enjoy them the more. So it's something you can take out because they can be aggressive also. Sometimes, you no, know, most times they can be very aggressive. You understand? So um, you have to take them out, socialize them with people, socialize them with uh, other animals. Can you give us some tips on how to train these dogs? Well, I can just give you tips on, uh, let's say, the basic obedience. Like, um, actually, you have to pay for it, but I'll give it to you. Um, majorly, most mistakes that we make is uh, when we get our dogs, we just let them be as if um, the thing is robot. Like, um, the obedience training is inside them already. Uh, we do get people that will say, ah, I call my dog, my dog doesn't listen to me. My dog don't, don't do this, don't do that. But all these things, you have to train your dog. It's just like a child in the house. If you don't teach them what to do, they'll keep on doing what they're not supposed to do. And um, what they're not supposed to do is, to them, is something good. But to you, it's bad. So you are the one to not correct them. Okay, this is what I want. This is how you're supposed to do it. This is how you're not supposed to do it. It's just like you guiding them. So this dog has some particular habits. Yeah, all dogs have their own um, habits. Um, they have both the good habits and the bad habits. You understand? So it now depends on the owner to train their dogs to let them know, okay, this is the one I want. This is the one I don't want. Grab. There are some, there are some dogs like, most some dogs like this, the pallet dogs, they tend to destroy things in the house, like bite wire, bite things, bite that. So you as the owner, when you notice that, you get them toys. Okay. So instead of them biting those things, they'll be biting all the toys. Okay, do they eat all kind of food or do they have a particular kind of food? That they eat? Yeah, they have a uh, particular kind of food. We have um, dog food. We have a lot of dog food out there. You understand? But some people will be giving their dogs human food, which is very, very, very wrong. Yeah. Yes, it's very, very, it's not good for them. It's not, it's not a poison that will kill them immediately. You understand? But um, as time goes on, it's affecting the, um, their system gradually. Because spice is not good for them. Spices, it's not good for them. Salt, it's not good for them. Oil, it's not good for them. So all those things, there are a lot of things that are not good for dogs. Do you think this um, this dog training business is a good business? If prevention, someone wants to venture into it. Ah, uh, it's really, 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 it's, it's actually a good business. But with this country we have, Nigeria presently, um, people are just getting to have um, dogs as their pet you understand uh, I, I guess there is more there is more increase and changes you understand so it's actually a good business that's if you are good at it dog training is not there are a lot of trainers out there you understand when i see the way some people train dogs i'm just like wow what is this you got so um dog training is not it's different from dog breeding you understand training is different from breeding so all those things it's a good business. You said just dogs. Most of the dogs there are for training. I do sell dogs. I can only get that from my friends that are breeders. You understand? So not that I don't sell dogs. So but I can get from a friend. Hello, I have a dog. Which one? This one, this one. The dogs here. 
Yeah, they are very cheap though. This one, um, although we have, you know, Nigerians, it's, it's somehow it's something else in this country. They have put a lot of mixture in all these dogs. So, in so doing, their quality has reduced. You grab. Yes. Yes, of course. They have their qualities now. Now, look, like this one that I'm holding, some people sell it for you for 60k, 70k. Right, some people sell it for 250k, 300k. Some we sell for 150k, 180k. It's the quality. You understand? So, dogs have their own different quality. There are some boabu, some people will sell for you at the rate of 80,000. And some we sell for you at 700, 1 million, 1.2. All these ones are GSD. GSD are very, uh, market, the market value is not that uh, much. You understand? So there are some GSD of 100K, 150K, and there are some GSD of 500K, 450K. Those are the slant back GSD, the long coat GSD. They are more expensive than all these short coat GSD. Yeah, we can get Oski for 700, 700K for Oskis. That's within Nigeria. But um, if you are importing Oski, that should be like 1.2 thereabouts for importation yes yeah, it's, it's a good one in a, in a good environment in a good place and if you are good at it at least we have some dogs here that are from um, abia state for training there are some dogs from portacourt that left recently so from lekki from ibadan from oshun uh we are at uh, miju shaga that's Elliot to do shaga it's within it's lagos also but we are close to Ogun state <laughs> Wow, I'm overwhelmed. That was great. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and drop your comment. I still remember Victoria Okosio. See you next week.